Ready is Caitlin. <clears throat> so today we're going to do something a little different and something that I really love um, and have a fun passion for, I guess you could say. I'm totally sitting on the floor and my legs hurt already. So bear with me. Anyways, I'm going to show you my hydroponics and we are going to have this be um, a couple videos long and it's basically going to show the progression of my hand built, oops, my built hydroponics versus a store-bought hydroponics. So we are going to go over how I made it and making it because I'm still in the middle of making it. We're going to set it up and get them ready to go while my plants are sprouting and then we are going to compare the two. So this is what you're going to need. Oh shoot, I left the box over there. I wrote all my prices and everything on a box so that I could tell you what they all are. So, okay, so we're going to jump right in here. Now, what is hydroponics? Hydroponics is the art of growing plants or vegetables or whatever you're growing without dirt or soil or anything like that. We are just going to use water, air, and buckets, basically. <laughs> okay, so basically, and then aquaponics is basically the same thing, but you add fish to it. Now, currently, there are no fish in these, but as it gets warmer out, because it's still... It was like 64 degrees here yesterday in Washington, but it's still too cold to put the plants outside. So, for now, they are not going to have any fish in them. I might do some goldfish later on or something else, but because I'm adding um, food and whatnot, plant food into the water, I don't know if I can have fish, so I need to research that more. So, um, I've done this before as an aquaponics and no fertilizer, and I got amazing results, and I had goldfish in it. Um, and I'll go over what I did differently. But these are going to be different in the fact that I'm going to do it the correct way so I don't know if I can have fish in them. So anyways, okay, so what we are going to need, if you, if you want to do it how I'm doing it, of course, you can do a smaller scale or a larger scale. So I am using two Tupperware containers that are each 66 quarts. Now this is what 66 quarts looks like. And... I got these at Walmart for $6.88 each, so they're very reasonable and very affordable, in my opinion. Now, when you get these, and I'll show you in a minute, because one's already full of water, when you get these, be sure to go to the store and look at them and make sure not to get the cheap, flimsy ones. You want thicker uh, plastic so that they're harder to move, because when you fill them with water, um, I've seen a lot of videos where they fill them with water and they bow out and then the lids don't fit because they're so flimsy and bendable. So you want to get thicker ones that are not going to bend as much. And these ones are rubber made, tough neck, virtually unbreakable. And I think that's in Spanish. So rubber made, 66 quarts, um, rough neck is what these are. So you can feel free to look at those or whatever you want to use. Okay, so those were $6.88 each at Walmart. And the rest of this stuff I got off of Amazon because I do have Amazon Prime, so I got free two-day shipping. So next, you are going to need a pump. Now, my pump is already plugged into the wall, so I can't show it to you, but um, it is a double pump. Give me one second. I'm just going to unplug it so you guys can see. Okay, so I have a pump, and basically it's for a fish tank aquarium is all you're gonna need is just go to Amazon or you can get this one, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But you can go to Amazon and type in fish tank aquarium pump or fish tank pump, air pump, and you'll come up with these. Now the nice thing about this one is this cost me $12.99 off of Amazon. And as you can see, it has two um, air pumps. It can handle two t fish tanks basically, but I'm doing two hydroponics. So it's nice that it has space to do two. Now you, if you just want to do one, you can always buy a pump that only has one and it'll work just fine. But for the price, this was a good price, it does two. And I plugged it in and it's actually been plugged in this whole video. You couldn't even hear it. What you're hearing probably is the freezer behind it. The freezer is much louder than this. You can't hear this at all, even sitting on the ground. I can't hear it at all. But the only bad is, is the, tr the, the, um, cord is very short. So, um, and the nice thing about these is they come with air stones, but these are too small for me, so I'm going to switch these out. But they do come with air stones, which is really nice because you need those 
for this. So for $12.99, you can get this and do a smaller scale um, aquaponics with it. So there's that. Again, that was $12.99. And then next, you're going to need some rock wool, or you can use anything to plant in. But rock wool, I hear, works really well for the aquaponics, or hydroponics. And basically, they look like this. You soak them in water for about huh, 60, 90 seconds. They fill up water. You plant your seeds in them. And then you can continue to water them. And then what I'm going to do is just put them into here because I got the perfect size for them, not knowing it. And then maybe I'll put some rocks over the top. I'll go over that in a minute. And that's how you plant. Okay. I'm using that under my leg because I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> okay. And so for 55 roughly of those, so I could plant 55 plants, um, it was $10.13. So, um, and then for the air stones, those air stones are too small. So I got a two pack. These came as a two pack off of Amazon. And they cost me $4.93. And this will provide all the oxygen air that we need for growing the plants. So I'll have one of these in each tank, and then you just hook them up. You can just take this one off. I'll save these for my fish tank, and then just put it on there. And you just, you're just you good to go. That's all you got to do. So it's super simple. And I'll show you how to set those up in a minute. So next, we need a cutter. Now, um, you have to have something to cut your holes in. Now, you could totally use a knife and a sander or sandpaper, but that takes so long. Who wants to sit and do that? I have 28 holes in my two buckets. I was going to do 30, but me and my husband were like, ah, let's just do 28 so we don't super crowd them. So I've got 28 total. So I've got 14 in each bucket. So I bought this on Amazon for $8.88. Now it has four different sizes. And so it's got uh, two and eight, one eighth two inch, two inch, one and a half inch and one and one fourth inch. Now I am using the largest one, which is two and one eighth, and I'm using that for two inch net pots. So you want to go a little bit sized up for your net pot, but this guy is amazing and it works super great. And it's got all the edges. And nobody on Amazon could tell me what these were called, and I it took me forever to find out what they were. But I will leave the link down below so you can for all of this. So if you want to do it this way, you can just get these ones, um, or at least know what they're called. I can't remember what they are, but it's a cutting tool. Oh, assorted hole saws. That's what it is. Okay, so that was a four pack for eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. And the last thing you're going to need is some net pots. I see these being called netty pots. No, that's for your nose. These are net pots, and they look like this, and they sit nicely in the lid. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I got these for $8.99 for 50 of them. Now, I'm really bad with sizes. I really expected these to be bigger, um, but two inches, it's small. But I'm hoping that they are going to work anyways. I'm going to try them, and we are going to see. Anyways, so I got 50 of these for that price. So, <clears throat> that is everything you're going to need minus the black paint, which I have not gotten yet. I'm going to get that today. Um, and the plants. And of course water so um, the plants are super cheap you can you can even buy them on food stamps um, you can buy them for 25 to 59 cents a pack and you're good to go so those are relatively inexpensive and the paint you could I actually did this in my old house um, when I was doing my aquaponics I used duct tape and I duct taped the aquarium instead of spray painting it black so duct tape is super cheap you can get duct tape and you can black out the whole tank i only did the top half of my huge tank and it worked just fine i got a ton of fruit off of them i got jalapenos and lettuce and kale go back and watch tv please um that's i got a ton of stuff off of that but this time i'm going to spray paint them black instead and bentley go watch tv and i'll be there in a minute please um, so duct tape would be super cheap. I don't know exactly how much it is, but a whole roll would do this just fine. Um, so I don't know if I can add a heater to this because it is plastic. But if I can add a heater, I'll probably add some fish um, other than than uh, goldfish. But we'll see later date. But right now they're hydroponics. So for everything you, I just showed you that you're going to need minus the plants and minus the spray paint or duct tape, it cost me $59.68, and that is to do two hydroponics, and that is for 28 plants is what I'm going to do. So, $59.68 after shipping, and it all got here in two days, and then the, the Walmart stuff got here in four days. So, 
Okay, so now to put it together. That's the fun part, right? Whoop. So, I already had my husband put the holes in these for me. Um, basically, what we did is we just put these upside down everywhere we wanted them. And then he put a little mark next to them. And then he just took this bad boy and drilled out the holes, which was super simple. And then for the second one, he just laid this one over the second one and then just drilled straight through. So, it was so much faster. He just, he just laid the two lids together. The one that already had the holes on the top and then he was able to just drill the holes through it. And they're not lined up, but that's okay. There you go. So, it's super simple and fast and effective. Uh, <clears throat> okay, put those back. So that is all you have to do for that. And then you can just stick these net pots in. So let me show you. Let me pause it for me. I'm gonna plug in the thing and then we're gonna set these up. So give me one second. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, I plugged in the heat, the air pump. You can't see it, of course. But you hear how quiet it is? So, that is super, super quiet, and you're not going to be bothered by it all day and all night if it's in your bedroom or wherever you want to put it. So, give me one second, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the buckets, and we've got, this one is already full of water, and look at this. The lids fit on perfectly, so they're not going to bow out or anything. This one's empty, and the lid's on, and this one's full, and the lid is on. So these are going to be perfect for... Um, doing that with. Um, and then I forgot to mention, you'll notice there is a hole here and that is going to be for the air hose to go in so that the lids will still snap on. So, I'm going to put these on. Oh, I guess we got to put the air hoses in them first. Okay, so we stuck these on, but now we got to take them off. So basically all we're going to do Put this in, the air hose in. I'm gonna attach that. Now it's gonna take a minute for it to bubble through the whole thing, but it will once it gets all wet and everything, so. There we go. You can see it's starting to do more bubbles. If you can see that, I put it in the wrong spot, but we'll give it a minute and it'll do all of it, all the way through. Okay, and then I'll set up this one here. Where's my lid? So as you can see, it's super simple, guys. It's super cheap, too, um, if you want to have a ton of plants. You can, if you want to have a little bit of plants, you can do that too. I haven't filled this one with water yet, but I will, of course. <clears throat> there we go, and they are basically set up. Now all I have to do is paint them black, of course, um, and this is going to take a few minutes to get it, to get the bubbles to the whole thing, but that's okay. And then we're just going to put all these in here. the finished setup. Bear with me, I still got to show you the one I got from the store, so, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is to set this up. Okay, so let me show you. So this is what it would look like if it had the plants in it. And this is the finished setup. Sorry, I'm really bad with my cell phone. Okay, and then here you go. It'll take a few minutes, but it will all make bubbles, I promise. So this, uh, the long ones are good because it'll give you oxygen um, through the entire bucket, which is what you want with doing hydroponics you want air everywhere so let me put you back here for a second 
so I can show you the other one. Um, and so there you go. That is done, set up wise. And this was turned out to be really not a such great video because I just have a cell phone. I really need to get a camera. Um, so <clears throat> I am sorry about that, but I really I'm excited about these. I really love doing hydroponics, and I really love showing what you can do DIY at home. So. As I said, all of this to do all of that cost me $59.68. Now I'm going to show you one that came from the store. Um, I actually got this for review. Um, I got it 50% off. So this uh, this that I'm going to show you, this one that I'm going to show you, retails for $99.99 on Amazon. I got it for $39.99 on Amazon in order in exchange for a review. So let's go over what it came with first. So it came with the aquarium heater and it only does one but it, it is only one so it came with that. And now this is a better quality one. This one would probably retail like $24 versus mine that I paid $12.99 for. So it is a higher quality but again it just does one. It's a Whisper 20 air pump. And then, of course, it came with a little booklet, Deep Water Culture Hydroponic Kit. It tells you everything that comes in here. Uh, it's got some links. It's got how to set it up and everything. And then if you need help, you can go and ask them as well. <clears throat> it came with some rock wool and a container to... Um, it's kind of like a little greenhouse, so you could put them back in here and then put the lid on. And then it's supposed to help germinate them. So you've got some rock wool there, which is it's in a different form. Mine's round, this one's a block. So there's that. I like that they have the little bucket for you to grow into. And then you've got these, I'm not sure what these are called. I really thought people actually used real rocks in the plants with them. But these are like little, I don't know, little round stones and they're super light. Let me see if it says in here what they are. Uh, clay pellets which provide a growing medium for your plants and there are five cups in there five cups worth and then we've got some nutrition but it got open so I need to be careful for seeds no nutrients for young plants one teaspoon per gallon for mature plants two teaspoons per gallon now I'm actually going to use this in all three of mine since I don't have any yet so I'm actually going to use this for all three buckets <coughs> And that's why I don't know if I can put fish in the buckets after I use that. I have no idea. And then, of course, we got the bucket here, and it came with this tubing to go on to our air pump. It's already got the pre-drilled hole for us, and then it's got the aquarium stone in there, and it's glued down in there for us. Um, and then I don't actually know what this is for. Supersonic hydroponics. I don't know what this is. There's a little tube on the side, and it goes into the bucket, so maybe that tells me the water level. But this is a five-gallon hydroponic system, and then we have this already ready to go. It came like this. It came with the holes already in it, and these are three-inch net pots. I believe they're three-inch. They might be four, but it came with the pre-drilled holes. <coughs> Let me look and see what it says. I will say that this container, while it is black already, which is really nice and it's all set up, it is definitely a cheaper, flimsier plastic, but it's still a great system. Um, I really like it and it's already pre-done for me. Let me see what it says. The net pots, um, it doesn't say. Let's see. It might tell me on Amazon. Fill the tub with four and a half gallons of water. This is a five gallon tub. It tells me exactly how many teaspoons to even add. It says 4.5 teaspoons and stir briefly. Put the lid on, rinse the clay balls and remove them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Do not leave holes. If you're not gonna, that's the thing. If you're not gonna plant on all of them, cover all the open holes because you don't want light in there because the roots need dark. <coughs> so it doesn't tell me how big these pots are. But, there's a difference. So, my two, and I'm thinking that's a three. But, who knows? I could totally be wrong. Okay, so, that is 
that one. So this is a store bought one, and I'm, I am starting plants in my my greenhouse for these and these. So I'm going to plant them all at the same time. The only difference is going to be is that the net pots in this guy are going to be bigger, and of course this one's a store bought pre made one. Um, but the, this one does eight plants. Yeah, eight plants. Man, I can't count. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, it does eight plants. And it comes with all of that that I showed you for $100. And this one is $60. We'll round it up to $60. And it does 28 plants. So even if I were to do three inch pots, I could still get more than this one. But it's a lot more work for these ones to put it together. But I personally think that's half the fun is putting it all together myself. But we are going to see because I love hydroponics and I would happily buy a ton of these just so that I could have a bunch. But the cost is cheaper to buy them or to make them yourself so far. So we're going to see um, how much water they're going to run through and all of that, how fast they grow in this one versus this one. So we're going to go through all that. Um, these ones are sitting in my back window, in my back screen door um, where it gets a ton of sun. And this one, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet because I don't have any more room back here. So I may end up having to put it in the front, which gets a ton of sun as well. But it gets more evening sun while this gets all day sun. So I'm going to have to see if I could maybe put this one, I might put a shelf so that this one can sit back here. So that way we can get a more accurate um, model, accurate reading on which ones are going to do better or if they're going to do the same. So... I'll probably do that. I'll just put a shelf over here so that way they can all have the same amount of sun. That way to make it fair. That way I can't say that this didn't work because it was in a different place. Anyways, so I'm going to set this one up and get it ready to go. I actually think I have a shelf that I can use. I'll have to see if it's empty, cleared off or not. But anyways, I'm going to put these, set these up and get them ready to go. I like to get them ready to go a few days before so that way I can have the nutrients and everything. Mine are still sprouting, so these will be ready to go for plants by the time they're sprouted. And I will be back when I plant the plants so that you can see how big all the plants are and me planting them, how I do it. So, oh, and then for mine, um, this one has these clay things. I don't have anything for these. Now, at my old house, I used aquarium rocks from my fish tank, and it worked amazing. It grew so much food. I got a ton of stuff off of it. So, since I took all my aquarium rocks out of my aquarium, um, I may end up using those rocks for this. I'm not sure yet. I might just stick with just the wool because if you look at how they sit in there, there is a lot of space. So, I might just fill in those gaps with some rocks just so that no light will get through. I will probably end up doing that, but we'll come back when the, the seeds are sprouted and we'll decide then together. So, I will see you on the next video. Um, today is February 27th. 2016 so we will see how well this does that thing's getting longer with the bubbles but it's going so i'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching